did the 12 empowerments seven years ago um, which I can't I can't believe it's actually been that long it feels like coming to the training even now it just feels so fresh like it's always new and there's always new data to come up and <laughs> clarify and um, but yeah I really uh, I really can't imagine my life now like without this training and without the support that's given here um, before doing the 12 empowerments I would um, I would have described myself as uh, a worrier and um, yes just someone that yeah I would ne I would never have like sat up here and spoken in front of a crowd like this spontaneously um, I used to perform and you know that I somehow like measured that in a different way but to, s to, to get up and actually share something authentically <laughs> I was like no that's not me that's not I, I wouldn't be able to do that 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 the self-doubt was constantly there and constantly the undermutter of self-doubt and self-criticism was um, very pervasive in my life and um, I had uh, I had very dear friends who introduced me to the training. Uh, they they'd um, yeah been coming to they'd come to India and they'd been spending time in Bristol and I just saw the the changes that came about for them and uh, I didn't think it would it was going to be possible for me. I somehow felt that I was different, but. Um, yeah, I was the exception for sure, but I couldn't resist like it, what I saw come about in their lives and the changes for them. It was um, it was magnetizing, so I couldn't I couldn't not see what was going on there. Um, and yeah, I'm so glad I did. Um, but but going through the twelve empowerments was was challenging. Uh, I. I, uh, you know, I remember empowerment one being asked like what your strengths, gifts and talents and just being like, well, nothing. Like I don't, I don't see anything that I'm good at. I don't see that, um, I didn't see my qualities. I didn't see the potential I had. It was always like always putting myself down. And, um, and, I, and I would love to share with friends and just like constantly go into the data and like indulge in the stories around why I wasn't good enough and trying to work it out and trying to fix that and you know having highs and lows that were just creating so much drama in my life <laughs> and like in intimate relationships you know work like not yeah and just not knowing what I, what I wanted to do and not being satisfied with who I was with and yeah, just the, the drama that I would re really indulge in and um, going through the 12 empowerments and just seeing that I can take responsibility for my own data was like, wow, it was like so direct and so um, immediately supportive of like what I can do instead of like drinking that bottle of wine and putting on the depressing music <laughs> and just like <laughs> really like really going into it for a whole evening <laughs> crying myself to sleep and just like wow just thinking about that now and who I am today is just like so like vastly different <laughs> <I d> <laughs> um, but it just has brought also so much compassion to know how to support others that are going through that as well because I've I've been there I've I I, I, I know that data I know how it is and and um, yeah and I, I, I know like when when trainers have supported me just like how incredible it is to just be just totally held and embraced and just told that I was perfect as I was it was um, like totally radical to not know that to, yeah to know that I didn't need to change um, and things did change over time but it was so gradual I can't even <coughs> I can't put my finger on it now. Yeah, it was really gradual. It was really, um, really subtle. Um, but to see my life now and to see 
my intimate relationship now and like being able to like to love so fully so openly and to receive love it's just like oh it's just yeah it's just been the greatest gift and my relationships in my family you know I, I remember always wanting to you know things were going really wrong and I needed some comfort I needed to speak to my mum a lot I needed to like get reassurance from her but yeah I um it would often end in her trying to help and trying to say things that would you know were coming from the best place but actually we would just end up arguing and I'd like hang up on her and you know to think now like when I when I can when I can speak to my family I can just like hear about their lives and hear how they are and be completely available to them rather than just just totally wanting them to I don't know somehow help fix things that were going on or have the answer it's like I I have the answer for myself now I have I have the capacity to see you know if there is anything that needs to change or you know just getting complete em empowerment from my trainer like that trainer relationship is um really beautiful and it's taken me a long time to open up to that and it's still you know still an ongoing process to open up to that because in our culture that's not what we're used to you know having someone there in that way um, and it's taken a while to trust it but um, but yeah that it's it this training has never let me down like the mainstays are there in so many different ways so that they can really meet like time place and circumstance in each of us and what each of us needs and um yeah it's never let me down